album track one, K, I heard enough. Girl, to drop it downstairs, better hurry up. Savage got a new stick, you wanna dirty up. Happy Monday. I decided to film another Monday motivation because I have done like two or two in the past and you guys have seemed to really like them and I even got requested that I do a little series of them. So I'm like, you know what? That's a really fun idea. I love filming them and you guys really like them. So why not? I mean, if it gives you guys motivation, because I know sometimes it's like hard to have motivation, especially after the weekend is done for the new week. So I'm just gonna take you guys along my day. It's gonna be productive. I'm gonna try to get a lot of things done. Yeah, I just made my athletic greens. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here and drink that for a bit while reading my book. But one thing that has really helped me, you guys, is not pressing snooze on my alarm because that's something that I'm notorious for doing. When you don't press snooze, it really helps your day overall just become more productive because one thing leads into another first thing what you're doing in the morning is you're procrastinating you're not waking up and you're putting it off and so that's like a really bad habit that i actually have and i'm trying to not do anymore but yeah anyways happy monday i hope this gives you guys some motivation for your week let's get to reading So I just got my workout set on, got my beach bag packed, and we're gonna go do my yoga and meditation that I do daily on the beach. This is something you guys know I love doing and it just sets the rest of my day up for success. And it gives me a lot of motivation, especially like moving my body first thing in the morning, doing my meditation. After I do that, it makes my body feel so good and able to conquer the rest of the day and be productive. That's honestly, I feel like what gives me the most motivation in the morning is doing that for myself because it's like a form of self-care if you guys want to feel motivated in the mornings i definitely recommend doing something that you really love like that so that it does set the rest of your day up for success and yeah it just made the biggest difference but yeah so let's go to the beach I was gonna go on a walk, but I think I'm just gonna make my breakfast first because I'm so hungry. Basically, I've been having the same thing for breakfast every single day since I got here because I've been really obsessed with having Nutella toast with strawberries on top. It's such a bad addiction because I know that Nutella is not so good for you, but you know what? I know that I'm not gonna be in this era of my life forever <laughs> because I go through like breakfast phases, meaning like I get obsessed with something and then I'll never want it again. So right now I'm just in a Nutella strawberry toast phase and I'm having it every day, but who cares? Um, my mom told me that she found this healthier version of Nutella where it's basically just like dark chocolate and hazelnuts. It's not actually Nutella, but it's like, an, um, like a healthier brand. And so when I go home, I'm definitely gonna have that if I'm still in this phase. But for now, we're just gonna use Nutella because I have just been obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make that with scrambled egg. There's no blender in this Airbnb, which kind of sucks because um, I can't make smoothies or anything. And there's like a lot of things missing in the kitchen. I didn't even realize this when booking, but it's like you have to really like watch out when you're booking an Airbnb long term because a lot of them are not gonna be equipped with the right um, like things that you need especially for cooking like there's no measuring cups in this kitchen there's no utensils besides just like one wooden spoon just not a lot like there's no blender 
just like things that I would use every day back at home. Like it's really hard to make recipes here because there's no measuring cups and stuff like that. There's not even like a spatula, there's no ladle. So it's kind of just like tough to really cook here. Like this place is great, don't get me wrong. It's just the kitchen is missing a lot of core things to be here for a while. But anyways, let's make some breakfast because I'm hungry. Then we'll probably go on a walk and then get ready to start it. Here is the final breakfast result. It looks so good. So I just have scrambled eggs with half an avocado and then my strawberry Nutella toast. I swear if you guys haven't tried it yet, please do because it's so good. Um, and yeah, and then I just have a coffee. I decided to have a hot today because I was just feeling hot coffee. But yeah, I'm just going to eat now and then while well, I'm eating, probably just watch a YouTube video. Just brought my makeup bag into the bedroom and now we're gonna get ready for the day. I feel like a big part in what helps me stay motivated in my day-to-day -day life is kind of switching up my environment and what i do on a day-to-day -day basis it's good to have like a routine i'm all for that but at the same time like if you just stick to the same routine your whole life then you're never switching anything up you're gonna get bored and it's not gonna be as motivating you know what i mean so one of my number one tips for motivation is switch something up it doesn't have to be every single day you gotta switch something up but more meaning like every maybe a couple months every couple weeks like whatever works best for you try and switch something up within your routine so for example, if you go on a walk every single day, instead of walking the same path every day, try to like switch up your walking path every few weeks or every few months. And that just makes the biggest difference overall in like your experience in life because taking that different walking path might lead to new experiences. One thing that I realized in a pattern that goes on in my life, if, for example, when I was living back in Vancouver in my apartment, when it was raining every single day, I felt so unmotivated because I was doing the same thing every single day. I was waking up, making my smoothie or whatever I did. I went to the gym and it was the same gym, did the same exercise every single day and I was never switching anything up and the weather was constantly the same and I just felt like I was such in a funk for a bit because I wasn't switching my environment up. I wasn't switching what I was doing up. Even though the weather was raining every day, I could have been like, okay, today instead of going to the gym again why don't i go try a new workout class stuff like that when you can switch something up like that it does like actually make a huge difference and it's more motivating because it's more exciting to try something new out rather than like doing the same thing and like i said you don't need to switch something up every single day like that's a little bit extreme but speaking more long term medium term switching things up can be very very beneficial if you have this stagnant feeling don't just brush that off because that is trying to tell you something that means that you need a change and when i was feeling that feeling of like being stagnant i wasn't motivated to do anything so yeah basically what i'm saying is like you just got to listen to your body and never brush off signs in your life like that because everything happens for a reason and there's no coincidences so you're feeling a certain way for a reason finding things that excite you that challenge you is really important because that ultimately leads to you know you being happy with your day-to-day -day routine and just because you're living in the same place every day it doesn't mean that things need to be the same every day if that makes sense that's something that i've definitely learned over the past year of my life is like i have the power and i have the ability to switch things up in certain ways in different ways this putty blush by the way like off subject but this putty blush by elf is in the shade bora bora i love it so much and it's like i what i do is i just take my finger in the blush and I just let it sit on my cheeks for a second so that it dries down a bit and then I blend it out.
Okay, now, ooh, that were mine. That was my glasses. Um, so now I'm just gonna make a to-do list for the day. Making a to-do list is key to my productivity during the day because if I do not have a to-do list, I feel like a chicken running with its literal head cut off. I just feel like I need to make tasks for myself in order for me to actually get things done during the day or else I just like will do nothing because then I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then I'm just gonna start scrolling on my phone and then it just like leads into me doing nothing for the whole day. If I have like a firm to-do list, then I know exactly what I need to do throughout my day. And I've said this before on my channel multiple times, but like if you've never made a to-do list before, please start making them because I swear they just make the biggest difference in the world. So let's write our little to-do list out for today and this doesn't take long like all you got to do is think what you have to do that day even if it's just like little things like do laundry putting those on your to-do list and getting to check them off is like the most satisfying thing and then you want to keep doing more tasks to check those off it just ends up being the most rewarding feeling the first thing i need to do today is do my laundry because i haven't done that in so long and then i also need to book my flights because unfortunately me and joel are not going to be able to stay in europe for longer than three months because still in the process of getting my passport and it's going to take a lot longer than we initially thought so we i need to book my flights back home and then we're going to be going somewhere else shortly after so i'll obviously keep you guys updated but oh i gotta edit thumbnail do emails and then edit for today also want to edit a real tiktok and um youtube short do you guys know that you can schedule things on instagram now like you can schedule your posts to go up it's like a new feature that they have then yeah that is my little to-do list for today i think i'm just going to start with laundry let's go do a load of laundry quickly i also forgot to mention i need to get my phone plan asap because i need to pay my taxes and i can't even log into my cra account because i don't have my phone number anymore and that's my verification to log into my account so i'm kind of screwed i need to pay them kind of stressing about that when it comes to financial stuff like this this is what stresses me out most in life and what i get anxiety about like everything else in life i'm chill about like i am very stress free but when it comes to this kind of stuff like taxes and all that i get so so much anxiety about it and it's something that i'm trying to work on because it's like whatever but it's like i don't want to do anything wrong it's just this weight that's been on my shoulders to pay my taxes i'll get it done but like Mm. Oh, I also need to pay my credit cards. I paid one of my credit cards, but my other one is newer and I always forget that I have it. I haven't missed a payment that way. It always comes close. I'm like, oh my God, gotta pay my credit card. So here is my daily agenda. I make it on Notion. I feel like I've shown you guys this before, but it's just so good. I go back and forth between like writing this as like a physical copy and writing it on Notion. But since I'm traveling right now and I don't really have like a lot of paper, <laughs> I've just been using my laptop. This is my little Notion template and yeah, I love it so much. Okay, anyways. Let's go do laundry. out to dry and then i booked the flights i absolutely hate booking flights because i get so paranoid for some reason of like what if i'm putting my name in wrong what if i'm choosing the wrong date like it's just like this thing where i hate booking them because i'm like scared that i'm doing something wrong so i literally take like an hour more than the average person to book a flight it should take five minutes but it takes me like an hour because i'm like staring at the screen for at least 15 minutes to make sure i've input the information correctly but i'm just paranoid because what if i did a, a, something wrong like what if i'm going to the wrong destination like that's something i would do <laughs> like for sure so when booking flights i like to be like extra sure so anyways i'm glad that's off my shoulders our flight home is booked i just got a couple things more left to do on my to-do list for the day and then i'm gonna make dinner and then potentially go watch the sunset which will be really nice but yeah it's such a beautiful day so i feel like there's gonna be a really nice sunset tonight so maybe we'll go watch that together um and see the little sunset i was gonna go lay out in town today but i just don't think i'm gonna have the time because i want to get like a lot of shit done today i'm trying to film two videos a week now instead of 
of one because usually like when I was back at home I was only filming one video a week for YouTube but I realized that since I'm traveling and like everything is up in the air meaning like I don't know where I'm gonna be and when I feel like I need to almost prepare for that just in case I don't have anywhere to shoot content for a bit so I'm a lot more busy. I want to make sure to stay on top of everything. I'm so excited, you guys, because we're going to Europe. I was going to say I'm in Europe. We're going to Paris, Italy, and London soon, and I'm so excited for that trip. I had to book like a million flights for that. It took me so long, but anyways, it's all done now. I just got to book, book a couple hotels. But anyways, today's been so productive so far. I'm just going to finish a couple things off my to-do list.